Let's say we're asked to find the equation of a line that passes through 4 comma negative 5, but we're also given that it's parallel to 2x minus 3y equals 6. In order to find the equation of any straight line, we always need two basic pieces of information. We need a point that the line passes through, and we need to know the slope of this new line. Here we can leverage our understanding and knowledge of parallel lines to determine the slope of the new line. Parallel lines have the same slope, so whatever the slope of this line happens to be will be the slope of the new line as well. So before we do anything else, we need to find and determine the slope of this line. We can do so by converting 2x minus 3y equals 6 into slope-intercept form. So we can subtract the 2x over to the other side, and then divide each term of the equation by negative 3 to isolate the y. If we do that, we'll get y by itself on the left-hand side. 6 over negative 3 will give us 6 over negative 3. Negative 2x over negative 3 will give us negative, well, 2x over negative 3. This fraction simplifies to negative 2. And then negative over a negative here makes it just the positive. 2 over 3 is already in reduced form. We cannot do anything else with it. Now we can rearrange the two terms here so that it looks more familiar to us. We get the equation of the line in slope-intercept form as y equals 2 thirds x minus 2. This means that the slope of this line is 2 thirds, and because parallel lines have the same slope, the slope of the new line will be 2 thirds as well. So really what we have to do is find the equation of the line that has this slope, 2 thirds, and passes through 4 comma negative 5. And we certainly know how to do this. Since the question doesn't tell us which form we need to use or give the answer in, we're going to assume the path of least resistance, which is the point slope form. If we have a point and we have a slope, all we need to do is plug the numbers in where they belong and get our answer. So y minus y1, which is negative 5, equals 2 thirds times the quantity x minus x1, which is 4. Negative times a negative yields a positive. So the equation of this new line that passes through 4 comma negative 5 and is parallel to this line is y plus 5 equals 2 thirds times the quantity x minus 4.